welcome to my extreme room makeover so i'm super excited about this video today because my room is a white box everything in it is white the carpet is like a gray tone white it's just ugh, no um so today we're going to be designing it and i'm kind of going for a more traditional glam vintage look uh my whole house is decorated more like Scandinavian farmhouse, kind of like what's the trends right now. But I kind of step back and realize I don't even like this stuff naturally. It's not what I would gravitate to. I'm just kind of got influenced by the trends. So I'm trying to mix this up and get some pieces that I know I'm going to love forever. So thanks for watching. And this is the current room. So this is the space. So you can see that it's a very plain white room with like a lot of really strange features. So this is my makeup setup. The bed is a full, which is really small for two adults, but this space kind of nooks it perfectly. So I don't really know if we could fit a bigger room. This is like a utility closet, and so unfortunately I couldn't put anything up against here. <laughs> yeah, that needs to get covered up. And then we have this knickknack thing, which would probably benefit from like an end table, so that this can be decorative. I went on Pinterest and kind of found some ideas that I like. I really wanted something vintage, kind of glam, but still minimalist. And I really liked the mood of like the darker colors, navy, emerald, black, incorporating that with some white and gold and some plants. We gotta have some house plants. So I'm getting the dresser that I got from my mother-in-law's, adding it with this mirror, pairing it with some things that I already have around the house, some of my fancy perfumes, a old vase with uh, dried roses, two knickknacks from Dollar Tree, I have a picture frame, and two coffee table books that I already had. So I really wanted a gallery wall, so I got recommended to Desenio. They have a lot of beautiful paintings, photography, different types of styles, anything you can think of. They even have sets that are already gallery walls. Fortunately, I share a room with my boyfriend, so I could not have super girly, super flowery, what I, which would be really cool, pink roses, love that. Instead, I went for more of a masculine look, so I added more architecture, black and white. I also got this really cool Chicago poster because that's where we both live. So even though Desenio's posters are a really good price, large poster frames will set you back like $30 to $50 and Desenio's sizes are European. So I did my very best to try and find the closest match. This is a big large frame from Walmart. Got a bunch of these kind of black acrylic looking frames. They're nice and they'll do the job, but together it just kind of seems like it would really throw off the glam of the other side. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity to incorporate some of those colors I really wanted to add, like emeralds and navy. Paint has like a texture to it. It kind of gives the illusion that it is wood underneath. So it looks much more expensive than the frame actually is. And this large frame was $12. Okay, so I have a few up. But I also have some of my Desenio portraits that I got. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to make this gallery wall. So I know there's a proper way to put gallery walls up where you tape kind of where you want it to go. And if that's what you're looking for, you are not at the right channel because I don't have time for that. I just stick it there kind of mess with it a little bit and get it to look a little straight um before i put them up i kind of laid them out on my floor but it's kind of just go with it if i have to poke another hole with a thumbtack luckily these are like really cheap acrylic how cute are these 
We got Chicago. A super sick tiger. This is supposed to be of a Paris rooftop, but if you've ever been to Chicago, this is how all of the houses look like. This I painted myself actually on the other side of the paper that comes in the frames because I accidentally ordered one extra and it was perfect. This came from a GEZ CD that I bought. Always been looking for like a purpose for it. And oh my god, these are like ballet studio architectural dreams. This is what architectural dreams are made of. Oh, and then we look right over here and this is the gold side. So right now I'm going to set up the bed. I don't know if you can tell, but I put it on a frame. Woohoo! Okay, so I got this side table from Home Goods for $50 and I'm gonna add some decorative artwork up there and then style this. So I wanted to get like the new Casa Luna line at Target for like their duvet covers. They're so cool. But I kind of read the reviews on Target.com and they weren't that great. So I ended up going with this other Target um, collaboration duvet cover, which I absolutely love. It just is so like kind of like fancy and elevated, but yet simple and modern. And I also enlisted some help from my husband and my cute little baby boy. Uh, and they were so amazing, so helpful. Okay, so this is the last day. This project has taken a lot longer than I was expecting. But, I mean, when you're doing it on a budget, you can't just order everything on one day and just get it all mailed to you. You have to kind of go out there, hunt your local thrift stores, and check out a lot of home goods because they all have different things. So this has been a long time coming, so I hope that you enjoy. Okay guys, so this is the dresser set up and I added this super pretty gold vintage looking mirror. I got it on Facebook Marketplace for $30. This was a gift from Nordstrom. I have all three of my super nice perfumes from my friend Yukiko. This is a thrift store find so it actually comes with this like it's supposed to be a French painting from the Met from a museum. This is a postcard from New Orleans and a thrifted frame I got for like two dollars. Some Dollar Tree finds and two coffee table books which I've read both of them from first page to the last page. Well, thank you folks so much for watching. I hope you love it as much as I do. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everything will be linked down that I can link in the description box. Thank you.